It's Monday morning. Welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love, according to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy, to you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before me. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 11 In the Lord have I taken refuge. How then can you say to me, flee to, like a bird to the hills? For see how the wicked bend the bow and fit their arrows to the string to shoot from the shadows at the true of heart. When the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try every mortal being. The Lord tries the righteous as well as the wicked, but those who delight in violence his soul abhors. Upon the wicked he shall rain coals of fire and burning sulphur. Scorching wind shall be their portion to drink. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds, and those who are upright shall behold his face. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A canticle is a song of a rock. The word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart for you to observe. Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak and let the earth hear the words of my mouth. May my teaching drop as the rain, my speech distill as the dew, as the gentle rain on the grass, and as the showers upon the meadow. For I will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. The rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are just. A faithful God, without deceit, just and upright is he. His degenerate children have dealt corruptly with him, a perverse and crooked generation. Do you thus repay the Lord, you foolish and senseless people? Is he not your father who created you, who made you and established you? Remember the days of old, consider the years long past. Ask your father and he will show you, your elders and they will tell you. When the Most High gave the nations their inheritance, when he divided the children of earth, he fixed the bounds of the peoples according to the number of the children of God. For the Lord's own portion is his people, Jacob his allotted heritage. He sustained him in a desert land, in the howling waste of the wilderness. He shielded him and cared for him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirs up its nest and hovers over its young, Spreading out its wings, takes them and bears them aloft on its pinions. So the Lord alone did guide him, and no foreign God was with him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart for you to observe. We're reading from John's Gospel, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. After this, there was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool called, in Hebrew, Bethsaida, which has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame and paralysed. One man who was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he, he had been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, 
Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. And while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, stand up, take your mat and walk. At once the man was made well. He took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, it is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. But he answered them, the man who made me well said to me, take up your mat and walk. They asked him, who is the man who said that to you? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared in the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, see, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Therefore the Jews started persecuting Jesus, because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father is still working, and I also am working. For this reason the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because he was not only breaking the Sabbath, but was also calling God his own father, thereby making himself equal to God. Here ends the reading. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. The Saviour of the World Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. And so we pray. Almighty God, we pray for our local economy in the community where we live. Father, we pray for our local shops and factories. We pray for our small businesses. We pray for our farms and for our supermarkets. Father, we pray for those whose work is unfulfilling, stressful or fraught with danger. And we pray especially for those who are struggling with unemployment. And Father God, we pray for ourselves that you would direct and guide our paths, that in the work that we do, we would bring glory to your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose son Jesus Christ fasted 40 days in the wilderness, and was tempted as we are, yet without sin. Give us grace to discipline ourselves in obedience to your spirit, and as you know our weaknesses, so may we know your power to save. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.